Hey, I'm back home. Hi everyone, I'm Janelle. Welcome to my channel. A couple of days ago, I posted a reaction to the Summer I Turned Pretty trailer and it was kind of just a lot of emotions. I didn't really get to register what was going on because I didn't really have the capabilities to really like go into it and analyze it. I want to definitely go into depth about like the show in general, how it relates to the books and like characters. We know there are a ton of new characters and also like plot lines. For example, the debutante ball, which wasn't a thing in the books and now it's like a major plot line that's going to contribute to like how the show pans out. As I promised, we are doing a second part. I've had a couple of days to process what was going on and also just rewatch it and rewatch it and rewatch it. I think I've watched it too many times. It might be a little unhealthy, but you know what? I know I'm not the only one that's done it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Let's just, let's get into it. Okay, hey, it's a little close and personal, but hey, I'm Janelle, nice to meet you. We're gonna, we're gonna start it. Kind of foul that they started the trailer with Belly and Jeremiah. It's like they want them to be together. I'm sorry. I know I know there are Jer Team Jerry fans out there. I think that's going to be a really big controversy um, when the show comes out, especially for people who haven't read the books um, and like haven't read the third book, especially. They are simply preying on my downfall because why would they start the trailer with Jeremiah and Belly? Actually, I get it. Creative purposes. I won't judge it. Let's just, let's watch it. I've waited all year for this. No <laughs> My family spends every summer in Cousins Beach with my mom's- Okay, okay, this is definitely a flashback because Belly and her glasses, so cute, her little pink glasses, it's definitely a flashback from like before she turned pretty, kind of like in her prepubescent era. Clearly from the beginning of the trailer, if you haven't read the books, it's like, like she seems to be closer to Jeremiah, so I feel like a lot of people are gonna root for Jeremiah, um, cause look at Conrad in the back. Why is he just- I feel like he's extra broody. I love a good sarcastic boyfriend trope, but I also love a broody one that's like kind of a challenge. Summer in Cousins Beach with my mom's best friend. Laurel and Susanna are gonna be the death of me. They're gonna rip me apart, rip me to shreds. This, this is friendship. I feel like when I'm older, that would be so cool. Like that's kind of a girl boss move. Like that's such a girl boss thing to do is kind of just like ditch your husband and just slay at a beach house in the summer with your best friend, um, even when you have kids. Best friend and her two sons, Conrad. He looks... I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. I know he has a girlfriend and she is one lucky girl and he's one lucky guy, but I am just in, I am in awe. Belly girl, I get it. I'm no better than you. Also, I'm wondering if it's like maybe after one that we see later on in the trailer where they're like running from the cops from that bonfire party where she meets Cam at, or if it's the scene where she breaks up the fight between him and that guy because she has a bruise under her eye and Conrad does too. In the book, she like stops this fight between him and this guy when Conrad is drunk. I think what's gonna happen is that like she gets in the way and then like she accidentally gets hurt. But also I kind of laugh because I know that Belly's definitely had her moments where like, Conrad, this isn't like you, Conrad. I know, look at me, look at me, Conrad, you know me. We're gonna ignore it. We're gonna pretend it didn't happen because I ride or drive for that girl. I love her. I love Lola's hug. It's different. Damn, you look hot. I think we could have gone without that. I think I would have been able to live so many years without having to ever hear that, but I'm gonna trust the process because again, it's a 60 second trailer where I don't know the context of anything yet. I think it was a little silly of him. Dude, um, focus. Uh, oh, Oh my god, they're rich rich also. I want to talk about that because I know a lot of people are arguing where they're like This is not beach town. Like this is not Cousins Beach. Obviously, it's an adaptation not a recreation of the books So you want it to be as similar to the books as possible But you have to change it to fit for like what would make sense for a TV show with the debutante ball being a significant part in the plot They're not just gonna be like a small beach town You know, they're definitely gonna be a little bit at least a little bit affluent and like be wealthy Y'all saw that house. No one has a deck that long, a, per a private like area such as that and like not be rich. Like they're definitely, they come from money, especially if she's like being in a cotillion. Shut up, Steven. Taylor is here. I've seen some like behind the pictures and stuff and this still, it's definitely her birthday. I'm thinking that she like invites Taylor to her 16th birthday for the sake of the show. That is so adorable. Like what a 16th birthday. And like, yeah, again, from those pictures, she's like, they're, they come from money. I think it makes sense that Laurel's always like, no, like don't accept Bex money or like whatever, you know what I mean? The whole Deb scene, it's for she. I don't like the way that she's looking at her. I will. I told you I would ride or die for my girl belly. I don't like the way this girl is looking at her right now and I'm about to throw hands because what is your problem? Look at her. I'm not gonna talk about someone's looks, but let me just say. Cheap. Conrad, could you- I would die for her. Look at how- a She- I feel like she encapsulates so perfectly like 
Belly being naive and just being like, oh, I'm just kind of like here, like, what up? I don't know what to do. Would you be a little more supportive? Now, which one of you is gonna be Belly? I'm not gonna say it. We all know it. Belly's escort to the ball. Oh, there's, okay, so we see Jeremiah in his like lifeguard gear. We know that he was like lifeguarding at the club in the books, that, that was relevant at least. But I know that like Steven in the background from like a picture that the summer turned pretty posted, um, Steven is working at the country club, which Insider posted an article where they kind of went into depth more about the characters and their relevance in the show. If you haven't read it, you should read it because there are some new things that we haven't heard. Like the fact that the article talks about how Jeremiah spends his time lifeguarding the pool at the club, flirting with guys and girls. So true of him. I love that for him. In the books, Steven goes off to college for the summer. So he's only really there in the first book for like maybe less than half and then like obviously the flashbacks he's in. I'm so excited to see his character more. They talk about how he's dating Shayla, which is like an it girl that's in the debutante ball played by Minnie Mills. She's like one of the girls that Belly makes friends with. Wow, guys, stop fighting over me. So Susanna told me she knew I was destined for one of her boys. I always hoped it would be Conrad. A few first loves, them saying that um, and like rarely showing Cam makes me believe that maybe they're supposed to be, he's supposed to be like a surprise element for people who haven't read the books just because it's like, there's another guy that's fighting over her. Like, dang, how many guys are, trust me, there are a lot of guys. And you know what? I wish I was her. We almost kissed. So I'm thinking it's around like her birthday time because Taylor's there. And the only other time Taylor comes is in a flashback where it's the first time Belly brings her to the beach house and she's like, they get in this argument and everything. So I'm guessing she brought Taylor over for her 16th birthday. She gives such good Taylor energy because I actually, I feel like book Taylor was very obnoxious and just like, I wanted to punch her in the face, but I feel like this is the vibe. She's kind of like, I feel like she's a cool girl. I feel like Taylor is seen to be like more vicious than she actually is. She's just trying to have a hot girl summer. And I think that's something that we don't talk about a lot is that Taylor was really just trying to have a hot girl summer and people were automatically shaming her because no, let, let the girl live. She just wanted to, she wanted to have some fun. She was a little boy crazy, yeah, but I mean, aren't all of we, you know? I don't want to hear it. Then there was Jeremiah. You're my best friend. There are times I want to be more. There are times I want to, girl, shoot. You know I love a good friend to lovers. That is why I'm stuck in such a predicament. Ugh, <sighs> FML. This is, oh, oh my God, wait. I didn't even notice this when I was watching it. She's holding Junior Mint, which is a polar bear that Conrad wins her. I talked about in my book talk, book talk, talk video about what was my favorite scene from the summer I turned pretty. And I said, probably the scene where he goes to the boardwalk and Belly thinks that he wants her to go with him. And it's just because he thinks there's this girl that is cute. And he keeps trying to play the game because the girl that he thinks is cute is like running the stand. And he ends up winning Belly a polar bear and she names him Junior Mint. So that scene's definitely gonna happen and it's gonna hurt so bad. Okay, okay, this is the scene I was talking about. You know what, I think they definitely switched it up for purposes of the show because the scene where Belly goes to the party with Cam and there's karaoke is supposed to be the same as when she goes to that party and Conrad is fighting with that guy because he's drunk. But I guess maybe they like changed it again for the script because she's wearing the crown from like what I think is her 16th birthday. I didn't really get to see him when I f was first watching it because it was like so quick of emotion. But I do love this scene. Um, it's a classic scene when Jeremiah is singing karaoke to embarrass Belly at the party. Yeah, I talked about this. Conrad and Red Sox cap girl, aka Nicole, which is interesting to me because again, the insider article, super interesting that she is someone that Belly looks up to apparently, when in the books, she kind of like despised her because she was like, Conrad has her and I want Conrad. Like, why can't I have him? What's so good about her and not about me? In a way, it makes it hurt more because it's like someone that you admire so much having what you can't have, um, especially when it's like a guy and it's someone that you've been pining after for so long, not necessarily at them because like they can't control it. It's not like they're doing it on purpose. It's just like, what is so bad about me that he likes someone that I get along with, but he won't like me. Her, the hurt in her face. This girl is literally about to throw up. Back up, you're in the splash zone if you're near her because if that was me, the look between the three of them. <laughs> Are you joking? Okay, so I saw this and apparently the back of their jerseys say Team Jelly, like Jeremiah and Belly. I'm not even a Jeremiah girl, but you know what? Maybe I do need my own shirt. <laughs> Whose hand? Whose hand is that? Whose hand? Whose hand? I'm thinking Conrad's. Belly, you don't really affect you. I'm not I'm 
going on well. I'm not doing okay. Belly, you don't know the effect you have on people. You can't just say that. If someone said that to me, but it's funny because as Conrad is for a character, you really can't be saying that because that boy's emotions are like here one minute and then they're just all the way down here and he just shuts everyone out. You'll just feel right. I feel like she's definitely confiding in her mom more than she does in the novel. She and her mom have a very realistic mother-daughter relationship because it's like they're close, but then there are definitely times where they butt heads with each other. I think what's gonna happen is she's gonna have a hard time choosing Jer or Conrad, so she just chooses Cam. And I definitely don't want Cam's character to go away because the more that I think about it and the more that I- I think I just am a fan of David is that I think it's kind of sad because she literally ghosts Cam in the book. And like he's there for like a good amount of time until Conrad gets jealous and then he comes- he's just gone. I'm really curious to see what they change about him. I don't know if he's still gonna be straight edge. I do like seeing people's interpretations. Someone told me that they thought it was the wedding scene and that it was gonna go in the first season. And then other people thought that like the prom scene was gonna be taken out for the cotillion instead and that's why they weren't like happy about there being a debutante ball because they're like, we want the prom scene. The prom scene is gonna be there. It's gonna be there because it was in the second book. I get a lot of DMs about this and just like questions. Jenny's talked about it before where each season is their own book. So the first book is supposed to be the first season. We're now like 12 days away from the premiere. I cannot contain my excitement. I'm so eager to watch this. So many big and exciting things are happening that I can't wait to talk about soon. I- such a surreal moment to think about how something so little as a book can be something so major for me and means so much to me and so much to so many other people. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. My Summer Agent Pretty playlist is down below along with my other social medias. I'm trying to be more active on my Instagram and I'll be posting like current reads and everything like that on there. So make sure you check it out if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.